Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is a fall Bath & Body Works candle haul. I am so excited to be surrounded by Bath & Body Works fall candles. My first round of fall candles, fall fragrances for 2022. As you know, my eyes light up, my smile gets brighter, and I get so much happier when the weather starts turning cool, the fall fragrances come out, my house slowly starts changing autumnal colors. Yes, I'm actually waiting on a piece for my living room to come. So when that comes, I'm going to decorate out there and my backdrop. I know some people have been asking, you got to change up your backdrop for fall. It's coming. Believe me, it's coming. And the fall lineup for Scentsy this year, I know I won't have them till towards the end of the season, but... They're going to make a beautiful addition to my home because fall is the best time of the year. Smelling these fragrances really quick yesterday when they came in the mail got me so excited for fall. And I knew I had to sit down, film this video, raise my spirits, and summon fall to arrive. So without further ado... Let's get into it. Over the 4th of July weekend, Bath & Body Works was running $10 off their new 3-wick candles. Well, all 3-wicks, but the new fall 3-wick candles that are online, as well as the 20% off and free shipping over $50. And there was an online exclusive that I personally have never tried. I honestly don't know how I've never tried it, but I wanted to pick that one up, and there was a whole entire line that really, really stuck out to me that I wanted to try. But the first one that I got, have to. I already have so many backups, but it's so nice to have a fresh pumpkin pecan waffles candle in my hand. This is one of the best sellers for Bath & Body Works. It's a best seller in the vendor wax world. People love pumpkin pecan waffles year-round, but there's something about a pumpkin pecan waffles in the fall that's just the best. And the notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Oh, if you've never experienced pumpkin pecan waffles, there's something about it. It's rich. It's decadent. It's gooey. It's so warm and inviting. Bakery lovers unite. It is just so good. I have so many backups, but this is just so pretty. I love the packaging. I love the label, and I love that the base notes are right on the front of the labels this year. I just think they did such a good job. I always like the cutesy packaging too, but these plain, simple, elegant packagings always win me over. And with pumpkin pecan waffles, you can never go wrong. So I'll be like melting Palo Santo, burning pumpkin pecan waffles, melting some bakery, burning this. This goes with everything, every room. Some might disagree, not me. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. And I know Natalie and I are both waiting for, with bated breath for them to bring out pumpkin pecan waffles in body care again. I don't see it this year, which makes me really sad, but I love pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, in that same line, this really struck, stuck out to me. Salted Caramel Old Fashioned. Now, the notes on this are a drizzle of salted caramel, special reserve bourbon, and orange peel garnish. Really interesting. <clears throat> when I first smelled this, I was like, whoa. <clears throat> That's really interesting. Always someone driving by. Totally, totally different. I'm not sure if everybody's going to like this for the main reason you smell the bourbon. You smell that alcohol. This smells more like a fall cocktail than it does like a fall bakery scent. I know salted caramel is really popular for them. This is elevated salted caramel. You definitely smell the bourbon. I don't smell orange garnish or orange peel at all. Mm -mm. I really just smell a rich, ooey gooey caramel with just a hint of bourbon. But I say it's a hint because it's not overwhelming, but you definitely can smell it in there. Not complaining. It's really yummy. I like this. I'll be very curious to see how it burns, but really interesting. Bath & Body Works is really going out 
of their comfort zone for a lot of these sets. But I'm really excited for that one. I'm excited to melt that. Now this guy. Pumpkin peanut brittle. I've never tried it. I, I can't believe that I've never burned or smelled this candle before. I got a dupe from a couple vendors and I was not a fan of that dupe oil. This is a perfect example of this candle, the original, does not smell like any of the dupes. I have a dupe oil from, I'll say it, Teddy Bees. It smells like plastic. Like, I don't understand. I was like, is this what pumpkin peanut brittle smells like that everybody raves about? So when I saw it, it did not come out last year, but it did come back this year as an online exclusive. So I picked up pumpkin peanut brittle, and the notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. <sighs> this, you guys, I'm going to burn one. I'm going to see how it does, and if it's good, I'm going to order more. This is incredible. It smells like you took a Ritz cracker and you put peanut butter on there. I don't really get much peanut pumpkin, but I feel like most pumpkin scents, you don't really get the pumpkin notes. But, wow, this, oh, 10 out of 10, so good. I love, like I said, you get like a saltiness and like that cracker, but not a saltine, definitely like a Ritz cracker. It's full of buttery flavor. And then you get a rich, creamy, creamy peanut butter on top. And I'll say online, I didn't really love the labels, but in person, like, it's cute. I definitely can vibe with it. It's not one that I'm like obsessed with the packaging on, but I don't think it's as bad as it comes across. Now, you guys. Last year, Bath & Body Works for the spring did the White Barn Neutrals collection. So there was, I'm looking right here, Cinnamon Spice Vanilla, Cozy Linen and Nectarine, Dark Amber and Oud, Eucalyptus Rain, Raspberries and Whipped Vanilla. I love the packaging. It's very simple, matte glass, gray label, and a white matte lid. They're continuing it in the fall, and there are five fragrances. I picked up all five because let me tell you, all the names sounded so intriguing and so out there for Bath & Body Works. The first one we have is Hinoki Wood and Lavender. And Hinoki Wood and Lavender is calming Hinoki Wood, fresh lavender, and a hint of coconut. Now, I'm going to link my friend Josh, Touch the Fire Twice, his channel down below. He goes super in-depth about like the history of Hinoki Wood, where it came from, its healing properties, what it smells like. All that, super fun, super in-depth. I love Josh's reviews. He's been doing it for such a long time, too. But I'm here to just tell you the story and what it smells like. But if you want really in-depth, definitely check out his channel. And this, it smells like something Bath & Body Works has done before, but I cannot put my finger on it. Hinoki Wood, from what I've smelled in candles, is a very clean, light wood almost like a fresh like fresh from the wood shop light washed wood table is what it smells like to me you get a little bit of lavender it is more of like a powdery bubble bath lavender i could so see this one in a bedroom calming at night i don't necessarily think this would be a great living room fragrance just because it's a little more mellow i feel like this is gonna be a good background fragrance but it's really interesting I don't think I would buy a ton of them I do love the wicks though they have that black core in the wick and these always burn super well but I'm not sure exactly how I feel about it in a bigger space but on cold sniff I think this will be a really great calming woodsy powdery scent for a bedroom so I really do enjoy that one this one Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli. Not a huge fan of patchouli. I'll be honest, I don't love patchouli. But in blends, I can vibe with it. And Spiced Pumpkin and Patchouli is so out of the box for Bath & Body Works. And this is a completely new fragrance. Rich Pumpkin, Warm Patchouli, and a Touch of Cinnamon Sugar. <clears throat> okay, so. This is so pretty. I can't even... I can smell the patchouli, but to me, 
If I'm going to compare this scent to anything, it's most comparable, I have it right over here, to Spiced Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. Spiced Pumpkin has those warm spices without being like spicy, up your nose cinnamon. I like that they put on here a touch of cinnamon sugar. So like for the average consumer, it's not like, oh, it's cinnamon stick. No, it does not smell like cinnamon stick. It definitely smells like a warm spice pumpkin. That's so good. As far as patchouli goes, I would not say it smells like, like the hippy dippy perfume, heady, like uh, Renaissance Fair patchouli. Mm, this is really nice. It's hard to describe. I think they did a really good job at the name Spice Pumpkin and Patchouli, but making it mellow down that the average consumer in a, in a Bath & Body Works store would be like, this is really nice, and I love the packaging. I'm excited to burn this, and I honestly feel like the spice is so mellow in this with the pumpkin that <clears throat> you could burn this like when company's around in the living room. And I don't think anyone would be offended unless they absolutely hate those type of scents, but really, really like that one. Next, we have Coffee and Whiskey, another Bath & Body Works coffee scent. And the notes are Bold Irish Whiskey, Splash of Vanilla, and Hints of Coffee. <clears throat> it does not smell like coffee. I mean... This smells like you went to Starbucks, you got a Frappuccino, and you said, like, one pump of coffee syrup? Like, one pump, one pump of coffee flavored syrup. Super, super light. This is definitely not a, I don't think it's 100% a winner. I feel like they missed the mark on the coffee note. That's just me and my nose. It's very creamy. Mm, like a very, very creamy fragrance. A whiskey, no. If you want like an alcohol note in fragrance, Salted Caramel Old Fashioned definitely has a more dominant um, alcohol note. This really just smells like a super, super creamy, like a creamy drink fragrance for sure. It's like, a, it does smell like a drink, but really creamy. And then just like I said, a hint of like a coffee flavored syrup. So, don't 100% love this one, but not going to write it off until I burn it. Maybe those coffee notes will come out. I don't think so, but definitely, if you're afraid of Paris Cafe because it's way too coffee, try this because I think this is coffee and whiskey. Hold the whiskey, dial down the coffee. Not 100% love, but if that's what you're into, give this one a shot. Six down, two to go. The next one, they're continuing on this like alcohol journey. We have leather and brandy with a pure black, lay, a black matte glass. Really cool. The notes are warm leather, amber woods, and aged brandy. I'm telling you, I swear this smells just like mahogany teakwood. And maybe I'm, like, losing it. Because I, I paused the video and I smell mahogany teakwood. And I swear they smell so similar. Like, when I think of leather, I think, like, you're going into a tackle shop. Or, you know, you go into, like, a Johnson & Murphy store and you see, like, the leather shoes and the belts. But I'm missing that. I'm really... Just getting a really lavender forward, like, mahogany teakwood. I know there's no le uh, lavender notes in here, but I swear. I hope, I want to watch some other reviews on leather and brandy, but I swear it really just smells like mahogany teakwood. So if you really love mahogany teakwood, you want a different packaging of it, I swear... This is like just mahogany teakwood. So maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before, but to me, this just smells like mahogany teakwood. Next, the one, I think the spice pumpkin and patchouli and this are my favorites. Cypress and amber. Now, this, I'll be honest, when I first saw it, I was like, nah, whatever. Wrote it off. I watched Touch the Fire Twice's review, and he said something, and I was like, if that's the case, I need a case. Are you ready? 
dark cypress, smoked amber, and fresh bergamot. He said this is a cross between flannel and marshmallow fireside. I did not haul my semi-annual sale haul. You'll see I have a candle right here, the Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and the Paris Cafe. I did get the blends candles because they were super intriguing to me. And he said this is like a blends candle of flannel and marshmallow fireside that didn't make it to semi-annual sale. And I smelled it. Totally agree. Flannel is one of my favorites for the fall. I do think I like to reserve it for the fall. I know they came out with Paradise Cove this year for summer and it was totally flannel. But flannel is this bergamot forward masculine aquatic cologne scent. And I think the bergamot forward really makes it a fall fragrance because it's really warm and deep. And the bergamot orange is really, really good. But this cypress and amber... It totally smells like flannel, absolutely. You get that rich, deep, that cologne scent, and then you get the toasty, roasty, smoldering woods marshmallow that you get from Marshmallow Fireside. Absolutely. I give 100% credit to Josh for saying that, but I agree. If you like flannel and Marshmallow Fireside, this is its twin, its sister, its cousin, its... its own baby creation of the two, this Cypress and Amber, absolutely 100%. I love this. I can't wait to burn it. It has the thick rope-like wicks on there, so we'll give it a shot, see how it goes. But otherwise, I really like it. Oh, that's all I got. I didn't do too, too bad. Um, I did see Cider Lane is coming back this year, but it looks like it's only in a single wick for Halloween. So, knock on wood. I'm hoping that it comes out in full-size three-wick because I love Cider Lane and I don't have any Cider Lane candles. I have a lot of like vendor wax dupes and it is the same, but I love Cider Lane. But if you could only pick up two candles this year, Spice Pumpkin and Patchouli and Cypress and Amber. 100% recommend. Salted Caramel Old Fashioned is really good. Too. They're all good. Coffee and Whiskey and Leather and Brandy are probably my least favorites out of these. So I'll probably burn those first to get rid of them and see what I think. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching my first Fall Bath and Body Works haul of the season. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I make a video here on YouTube. Be kind, make it a better world, and I love you all so much. Bye, guys.